This instrument here on the top is a cornet and this instrument here on the bottom is a trumpet for anyone who is unsure. Now these two instruments both have some definite similarities. They've both got three valves. They both have a very similar shape. They're both roughly a similar size, but they come from two different origins. This trumpet here is simply a development on old trumpets and what they did to develop it was simply to add three valves. The cornet, on the other hand, doesn't come from trumpets. It's actually a development of an instrument called a post horn. Now these two origins have manifested themselves in one way, and that way is the key difference between these two instruments. Firstly, a trumpet. The diameter of this tubing stays the same all throughout the length of the instrument, through all these different tuning slides, and it only starts changing once it gets to about here. This home straight of the instrument, it gradually, the tubing gradually gets thicker until it flares out in, into what we call the bell section up here. Whereas if we contrast that with a cornet, the cornet's, uh, the, the diameter of the tubing of the cornet gradually gets bigger as its length increases. So as we get through here, the tubing is getting slightly thicker, slightly thicker, slightly thicker, and it's continuing that growth all throughout the instrument. Some of the purely aesthetic differences between the cornet and trumpet lie in the configuration of its lead pipe. The trumpet has a very straight lead pipe that goes around here, it curves once and it goes into the third valve. Whereas the cornet, the lead pipe goes, twists once, twice and three times into the third valve. Both instruments share the same valve configuration. The first valve tuning slide is the same length. The second valve tuning slide on both is the same length. And the third valve tuning slide is also the same length. The hand grips are roughly the same. We've got a, a, a little finger ring there and another one here. But whereas the trumpet has manual slides for the first and third valve tuning slides, so we can move this in and out manually, the cornet utilizes triggers. Now these triggers uh, are a mechanical feature, whereas if you push this down, it extends the tuning slide. Uh, this particular cornet is a Besson Sovereign, and it has those triggers on the third and first tuning slide, whereas most trumpets, in fact I don't think I've ever seen a single trumpet that has triggers on the tuning slides, instead they have these thumb rings and thumb hooks to facilitate the manual adjustment of, of those tuning slides. Upon reversing these instruments, we are shown how the bell section exits the valve section. On the trumpet, we have the first, second and third valves here, and the bell section exits in a perpendicular fashion around this uh, 180 degree bend, and it exits this way. Whereas with the cornet, whilst we have the same first, second and third valves, we'll notice that the bell section completes what is called a shepherd's crook. This angle is much higher than 180 degrees, uh, and then it continues on its, the sound continues on its merry way out the end. The difference between uh, this shepherd's crop with this standard 180 degree bend illustrates how much more this tubing expands as it progresses than what this one does. The, the diameter of the tubing is the same from about here to here, whereas this tubing continues to increase in size all throughout the completion of this angle. What I'm going to do now is play a piece of music called Napoli. It is a theme and variation style arrangement. Uh, and I'm going to flick between the trumpet and the cornet to hopefully illustrate better the differences in sound.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to make a comment.